Uh, on the other hand, Tony, who's a machine, who, um, you know, is uh, not afraid of anybody and lives for these moments. We get to see it. Starts off with a five bar shot. There have been a lot of complaints about the Garlandos at this tournament. Um, they don't have the dusting yes. that they should normally have, like the, the amount they should normally have. Now, Kevin shoots a monster pull shot from back here. But Tony's zone is ridiculous. That's why he's a multi single champion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tony not messing around. Yeah. So I'll give that little look to the camera. <laughs> Tony knows just, he's down too, so he's going to yeah. be fighting really hard. And just like that, he's plus one because he stole one on Gorlando. And now Tony's in his cave. Now Kevin Hunstarfer is in the lion's den. Yeah, but Kevin's no schmuck. He's he's going to analyze, fight. You're going to see these guys. You, you see what he's doing now. He's making luck. You know, like, he's he's going to get one of those. <laughs> he's already put two things on goal. He is such a beast. And he's a, he's a calculator. He's been in this situation so many times. He does, he never guesses. That's how his three bar reminds me of Frederic. Everything he does sets up the next thing. The ball movement is all designed to make you move in a certain way. He fakes you off of holes. He uh, memorizes and he remembers how you, oh, wow, wow, that was very fortunate. Wow, that was almost in the goal. <laughs> um, so even the five bar shot Tony shot was a, a highly calculated risk. That was a blunder. And Tony now with a opportunity Tony's playing lights out defensively. Oh, he went for the wow. pull kick. Kevin was just there. <laughs> so impressive. Whoa. Got some, some camera. Someone camera rocked wobbling. The table. Tony with the... And Steal from the two bar. Tony's zone is so good from all the singles wins. You got to be very, very careful how you attack Tony's zone. We know that there were some holes on Tony's zone that Ryan Moore found in, their, in his great singles win over Tony, but it's a very tight three quarter split and it's a short brush. But that split, you better hit that split perfect because if you don't hit that split perfect the way Ryan Moore did, that ball's coming right back and you're going to eat it. Yep. It's also worth saying that Tony's been very sick, like incredibly sick. Um, after reviewing what Tony has said about his illness, it seems like it was an anaphylactic allergy reaction to um, a dose of medicine that made him incredibly sick. Tony's hand speed. His hand speed is ridiculous. His ability to grab balls is, right now, his commitment and dedication to dragging, willing this team to victory. Can I get some good blocks here, though? Three possessions for Tony is a lot of possessions. A great defense from Kevin. Yeah, but again, Tony has the ball again. Only so long. You see, everything sets up everything else. He tap, 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 tap. Waited for, anticipated the off, and push that. Yep. It, it's exactly like okay. the way Fred used to shoot. Ready? And Fred, if you're still in the chat, you know what you're looking at. You've been you've been wrecked by that three bar before, haven't you? Yeah. Kevin the breaking the spell. Kevin. Yep. Starting to close the gap. Yep. So I think it's been a four-one delta. Yeah. But there's still only one point difference right now. Yeah, and 
believe me when I say that Michael Stahl and Todd Lafredo are going to need every single point. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to need every single point. It's going to be. It's going to be hard. Ben uh, Matias shop is extraordinary from the back. His two bar. Unbelievable. Remember, we uh, remember stumbling over my words. We played to 30 here, so we've Correct. got at least eight more points. <laughs> and it, it could be 17 points. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. I think 17 is more likely. <laughs> All right. It's not like Kevin can't score on tornado. Yeah. And true to form. Yeah, Kevin started to get fired up. You saw that look he gave Tony after he scored. And that's playing with fire. That is playing with fire. But if anybody can hang, it's this guy. Oh, yeah. These guys are mirrors. These guys are mirrors on each other's tables. That's the one he wants is just inside of that. The shot he wants is the one that's just inside of that shot he just shot, and it's not easy to hit, but it's there. If you hit it wrong, Tony's going to put it back at you. There's a lot of stuff that's not open. Oh, yeah. a pull, push, kick. Yep. Nice. That's a beautiful shot. And he just stole two points. He took two yep. on Tornado. Yep. So now the pressure's on Tony. Yep. Shot on goal with that push shot. You see Tony using an offensive two bar instead of passing. And I think it's because the five bar on Garlando is just so tough. And it's very, it's so different from what he does. Like you just can't do what he does on Tornado. All right, because the ramp, the ramp will keep him from doing a lot of that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what a great block. That hand speed, man. Yeah. Wow. He, get, he takes it right back. He gets it right back from Kevin. These are critical. Uh, we talk about this tempo, this idea of a chess tempo where you have a time and space advantage and getting a ball back. He gave two points up on Tornado. He's got to get at least one back in Garlando, if not two. He probably destroyed that bumper if that's what that is. He destroyed that thing, making sure that. It's a good thing these bumpers are hard. <laughs> yeah, Shim said 78. I agree that Austria is the favorite for the last doubles. That's that's why yeah. Tony's fighting so hard because he he knows that too. He knows what he he needs to do to set the team up. That shot is not open on Tony's defense, but the one inside of it is. It's that one that he shot with the reverse push kick. Yeah. But he could hit it with the pull shot. He's got to hit it perfect. These guys have tremendous respect for each other. I know. They know they're both. They know they're both sharks smelling blood. They don't fear each other. That that um, doubles team is a stronger team, 100%. Yeah. Oh, now they're trading blows. The now they're trading split. blows on each other's tables.
Oh yeah, he was. He was looking for a replay. Essentially on serve. Kevin gets two possessions on Orlando now, and he's got the drop. So they're essentially. What a save by Tony. Double save because his back man kept that one from dropping in on himself. Tony was prepared to shoot a five iron just and, then. And I, I will tell you this if there was a left handed world championship, Tony would, win. Tony would win the left-handed world championship. Someone earlier pointed out that Kevin Hunstoffer won left-handed singles at the European Tornado Open, uh, but Tony was not there. <laughs> and Tony, Tony really beats pros that are two-handed with one hand. With one hand. It's called all the left-handed training he did as a child learning foosball. I'm also not sure what's going on with the score because I also thought it was 25-25. Yeah. Boom. But I guess it's right because they, they switch tables. Yeah, so I think it was right before. Now it's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 yeah, they respect each other. Yeah, both players are very fair players. That's a rough one. There's a time out. Yeah, that was smart. Uh, Tony was the one who used the timeout earlier. We thought it was Kevin at first because we couldn't see who called it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It was Tony. So, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. But he, he, no. he said yes, and then yeah. you said okay. So. Sorry. No, it's fine. Ready? Set. And you grab. Six to 25 going back to Tornado. It ends at 30. And you could tell Tony's not 100%, by the way. I'm not a Tony apologist. I'm not making excuses, but it's going to be the score probably no matter how he's feeling. But he is absolutely sick. Ooh, an off the wall pass, a quick conversion, that transition game that Tony's so well he's, known for he's on such Tornado. A champion that he's probably going to, yeah, the score is probably going to be the same either way. But yeah, he's, he's definitely not 100%. He's been in the hospital for two weeks, like on, in yeah, and out on and for, two and two weeks. for two weeks. Yeah. yeah. And like right before coming here. Right. Ooh, fortunate play. Does he have the five bar from another planet and the three bar that's like a machine? He has all the, the sneaky stuff that he doesn't have to work that hard for. All the oh, fighting for that ball. Tony's. I I am so impressed to be five points up on Kevin Hunsorfer is phenomenal. It's not a blowout, but it is phenomenal. How you slice it, it's going to come down to Michael Stahl, who's never been in this situation either. Yeah. Playing forward for the legendary Todd Lafredo, the Duke. Who, the Duke, who's also sick, but and he's also not what he was five, ten, twenty years ago. Yeah. Now he's still a incredible magician on the foosball table. Yeah. But 
all right. these points count. I wonder if Kevin has a five bar shot in there, kind of a. Oh, what a brutal crush He's down. like, I don't need a five bar yeah, shot. Look yeah, at this pass. Yeah. He did it. Shot the open hand. Rico at 95 years old would destroy Tony in his prime. We know Rico's in the chat, by the way. Federico Colognon is in this chat. And uh, he, I would put him at a favorite, as a favorite. There's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, that hole is open. That hole is open. He's got to attack it right. Just like that. The Tony. It's, the lead is, is shrinking. The <laughs> bloodthirsty shark that never is never satiated by anything. Great blocker. He has another chance here. He could end it on this table. Just one more. One more point. See if he can give the next doubles a three-point lead. And they're it, gonna need it. It'll be a. Um, let's see here. Let's see if Tony can close this out. For for someone of Kevin Hunstover's caliber, that hole is open. Yeah. Fortunate. I think that was a five bar shot. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a, a, a whiffy pass that he got anyway. Wow. Closing the gap. Yep. Closing the gap. All right, Tony's got the Fire drop. Set. Ready. Oh. Now it's going to be a one-point delta, and it'll yeah. be for one of the teams. We'll have a one-point delta. That's all. We knew it was going to be tight. And, uh -huh. uh, Tony. Yeah, it's been tight. Tony is still, even if he loses his point, he's outscored. There's the five-bar shot. That was gorgeous. Yes. I want to see a replay. There's the five-bar shot. Uh, this is going to be a replay. There's that the five bar crazy. shot. I told you. That was I asked if he had a five bar wow. shot in there because he owed one Tony back. These guys are there. It is. Oh, there it is. Oh. Look at yes. this. Uh, no. So you, these guys are competitors, and Tony got him with a five bar shot, and Kevin got him back. And that's then, with all the respect and all the appreciation.